Hello. Welcome back Hi, to another everyone. live stream. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, another back live to day stream. two of Prime Day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm Jordan and joined by Rika here. And we're going to be going over some more kind of last minute deals. And um, if you have anything that you're kind of wondering if it's a good deal or not, um, let us yeah. know in chat and we'll look at it together and kind of uh, talk about it. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of deals now that have come out since our stream last night. And I think, you know, I think we're in the like the final hours where people are debating whether or not the thing they've added into their cart is actually worth pulling the trigger on. And so if you're in that yeah. boat, which I don't know, there's I have some things in my cart that I'm just kind of like, do I need to buy it? Should I wait? Like, <laughs> so <laughs> we can definitely, yeah. I guess, I don't know, be devil's advocates and help make a impulse purchase if if that's what you're into but we're just gonna i guess go over some of the other new deals that have come out in the last 24 hours yeah absolutely um and i'll drop first thing here in chat i'll drop a link to 9 to 5 toyscom um join us over there and check out everything that we've got posted on here it's just an awesome assortment of all the deals that have been going on um it's kind of the best way to see just groupings of things together and see what are the really good deals out there so Always good to browse that, and uh, we're constantly updating and refreshing them. So it's worth taking a look again if you've already checked it out. Yeah, I mean, we've been working, I don't know, not, not nonstop, but pretty much, you know, around the clock since Monday started. And, like, yeah, there's pages and pages of deals. If, like, if you checked in uh, Tuesday morning and haven't looked in since, there's plenty of new deals to check out. That and I think some of the better ones have also gone live since then. So there's a lot to be missing out on if you haven't already yep. you know given it another look through Absolutely. so many deals yes <laughs> well you want to start off with uh one of the first ones we have right here on the page this uh macbook pro yeah sure i mean it's i would I, I would keep saying to people of uh, that you know whenever i get asked what the best deal of prime day is um I think that the MacBook, the M1 MacBook Pro here is in the like in the running for being the best deal. Um, the new M2 devices have gotten a lot of I, I guess praise and like have been hogging the spotlight lately. But I don't really think most people need the newer chips. And for 880 bucks to be able to get one of Apple's latest machines is like I don't know, it's pretty hard to beat. I think like the best value of any computer out there right now in the Apple world is like I don't. Know, it is refurbished, which I think some might not necessarily be the biggest fans of, but I, th I mean, I think for the price, it's hard to beat. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a pretty incredible, incredible deal to see going on here. And we have lots of other Apple deals as well. We kind of highlighted some of those yesterday, the uh, Apple Watch Series 7. Um, so definitely more to check out there, but um, that's definitely one, definitely one of note. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I feel like it now's the chance if like you've been on the if you're still running an Intel machine and have been waiting for the right opportunity to make the jump to M1 or any of Apple Silicon uh machines and I don't know, I I just keep be, like being like, "Man, I wish I needed a new computer because up to 499 bucks off is I don't know, is unprecedented in the Apple world and hopefully, you know, hopefully it stays around long enough through the end of the day, but we'll see." Yep. Absolutely. All right. And another one of note that we posted here recently, uh, the Quest 2. Did I already pass that? Um, I, think I think it might be a little further, further down. down on the page. Yeah, I don't know. We, I think that was one of the ones that went live kind of right go. as Amazon refreshed the gold boxes this morning at 3 a.m. But Okay. So, yeah, why don't you talk us through this one a little bit? We're seeing the promotion with the $25 Amazon card. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's one of those things where the Oculus um, quests have really really never go on sale with cash discounts attached, and so being able to get twenty five dollars in credit to spend on I don't know, on games or accessories is pretty. I, don't know, is, I guess is pretty notable as far as they come for this. Um, I don't have. A, I know that we've reviewed the Quest Two on Nine to Five mm -hmm. before, and you've taken. I, I'm sure you've spent plenty of time with it by now. But absolutely, <laughs> it seems like the. I don't like if you've been looking to get into VR. This is like I don't know. Two ninety nine is pretty hard to argue with if you've been looking to experience it. But absolutely, and getting yeah. like you said a little bit of a bonus on top of that. Uh, that's a good time to get into it. And I believe uh, in the past. 
Oculus, Meta, Facebook, whatever, they required a Facebook account to be linked to it. But I think they've recently dropped that. And so you yeah, don't have I mean, to be linked, which is yeah. that was something that I think was keeping a lot of people from actually diving into it. Oh, no, absolutely. I think I've definitely been in that boat of being like, I don't really know if I like, I mean, I have a Facebook for work and it's yeah. I don't, not very, it's not very active, I guess, but I would prefer to not have to link a Facebook to be able to use something that's like VR. And so, yeah, removing, I don't know, removing that is like the, whatever the opposite of the final nail in the coffin is of like, <laughs> of actually thing, being worth your money it. and your time. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah, I know. Like my brother was in a similar boat. He didn't have a Facebook account. Yeah. He just made like a burner account just to basically link it to it, you know, just to have something. Mm -hmm. But that's awesome that they are removing that requirement. And yeah, we've reviewed uh, the Quest Two. We've I compared it to the HTC Vive Pro Two, which is just like a completely different beast when it comes to VR. But just kind of like the differences between those experiences, you know, the three hundred dollar Quest Two versus the you know, a couple thousand dollars once you get the uh, HTC Vive Pro 2 and a PC that's uh, able to run everything, uh, you're dropping quite a bit of money on that. So uh, if you want some more information, check out those reviews. And uh, I've, <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with it. Like I'm just uh, amazed at the quality of VR and the experiences you can get out of this $300 system that uh, doesn't need any yeah. external trackers or anything. Like everything's just built into it. That's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, I keep I keep wanting to dive into Beat Saber. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, that that still seems like the big selling point of VR to me at this point. I don't know, which I think you know is old by the but you know by now. Like everyone's, I feel like everyone's played it except for me. <laughs> but I'm just like I don't. Know, I see TikToks of it all the time still, and I'm like, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I'm debating it. <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun. Um, that's one that uh, my kids really enjoy playing with me too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, and what's the other one? Vacation Simulator. That's the one that they're oh really into. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. All right. And should we move on to the next one? Um, yeah. So next up we have, uh, this will just be kind of like uh, smart lighting in general. So a couple things from like Nanoleaf. Um, let me grab that link over here. Um, and I'll drop it in the chat. People can see this if they want. And um, there are also just some other kind of smart lighting deals going on as well. Um, we've highlighted something from Philips Hue, which is also on 9to5toys. And then Singled has some um, really good deals as well. So if you've been thinking yeah, about... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, we. I think we've pretty much every price point covered it, you know, at this point of some of the more affordable ones with Singlet and then Nanoleaf and Philips Hue are a little more premium, but certainly back that with like higher end features. And so there, yeah, there, there's a nice spread on every, you know, whatever you need for your smart home. Yeah, absolutely. And they're, yeah, they're, they're just fun to have around the home. I set up uh, using wise lights. I kind of set up a little system in my garage just like on a motion sensor. So like whenever we open up the door, or walk in, the lights turn on because I was really tired of people leaving the light on <laughs> and then it turns off after five minutes. <laughs> Feels like a dad move, but how yeah, dad with the no, I mean, that's, on? that's genius. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of the nano leaf ones in particular. I feel like every, I, don't know, I feel like all my friends make fun of me for how much I talk about nano leaves. And like, I, don't, I guess I'm, I fit into one of the typical gamers who just has the, you know, the shape, the shapes somewhere in my setup, even if they're not physically installed right now. But I, I don't know. The lines at 170 are pretty exciting, in my opinion. Like, I think they're a little more, I don't know, classy is not the right word, but a little less of like the typical gamery, like RGB look and mm -hmm. can be a little more I don't know, sophisticated or just, I don't know, like, I, I'm a sucker for color, like color smart lights and just the unique design of being able to sketch out whatever kind of geometric pattern you want is pretty cool to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Shark bait and chat. Gobi has some nice stuff as well. Yep. We talked Ooh, about yeah. a few of those yesterday too. Um, yeah. Lots of great, lots of great uh, lighting available right now. Let's go over and check, see some of the Gobi stuff. Yeah, I know that um, those are pretty popular with our audience, and we've reviewed quite a few of them 
in the past, right? Uh, yeah. Some of the light bars, yeah. I've got, um, oh, what do they call it? It's basically, it's kind of like the lines thing from Nano Leaf, mm-hmm. where it goes on the wall, yeah. the glide, I think maybe is what it's called. Yeah. And then uh, I have a couple of the little, like, I don't know, they look like cereal bowls that shoot light out, <laughs> kind of like, yeah. like a 45 degree angle. A couple of those as well. And yeah, they work great. I use them a lot in my setups just to kind of add a little bit of splash of color for uh, background for videos. Yeah, I mean, if you can't see behind, I mean, I have so we'll get, I guess we'll get to the Philips Hue stuff, but I've got a couple of lights set up behind me that add a little more flair to the shelves and yeah. like, that I personally think looks great, but. Is that what you're using for the light back there is the Philips? Yeah, um, I I guess we can, now's a good time to dive into those yeah. deals. But I have four of the, they're meant for behind the TV. It's the Hue Play sync lights, but I have since upgraded TVs and have not. And instead of reinstalling them on the back, I just put them on my shelves. <laughs> um, that's but uh, awesome. yeah, there are bundles on sale right now that include some of the like some of the, some of the lights I have, as well as light strips and different, you know, like the Hue Hub that you need to get started, and just right. some of the other like standalone kits. Some that, like there's bulb start like starter packs for those who just want to dive in and add a little bit of color to your setup, or there's like the even the the higher end gradient lights. That can that have adjustable uh, LEDs so that if like you can set it so that it's red at one end or like blue on the other, which are pretty neat. I don't know. Um, totally. When I stream, sometimes I'll sync the lights to to the game so that like they flash and everything. When I don't know, when I, you know when nice. I get my when I get absolutely destroyed in like Horizon Zero Dawn for just trying to <laughs> run up and like yeah they. And they, you know, they just, they flash as I am bleeding out, but that's hilarious. I did something similar. Um, I think one of my first videos for nine to five toys, I called it like the ultimate razor chroma cave. Oh yeah. I don't know no, if you I remember, remember that. that. And it was the same kind of thing where like they were pushing synapse and, uh, the connection with Philips hue and also the connection with games. I think I was playing apex at the time and it was the same kind of thing where it's just like this flash of color everywhere you know as we were either winning or usually dying yeah um but it's a pretty pretty wild experience <laughs> yeah i mean i've i i don't i love just like uh, gimmicky is not the right word but like just like novel tech that i don't not a, like it's not like you need reactive lights you know behind your tv behind your workshop or like or anything like that but it's definitely one of those things where like I can't help but geek out over it every time just because of how fun and like it's just it's so so novel that yeah. it's hard not to be a little excited. Did you ever try the uh siren with the razor siren emote? Oh no, did I did not. But I would have I yeah, I know the one with the LED matrix on it. Yeah. yeah. So that was before my streaming days. Oh man, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Actually, I, I use that for quite a bit for recording my videos just because I like the sound of it. But it's a nice. fun mic to mess around with. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Patrick from 9to5Toys, Trader Workshop, he's saying Synapse now ties in with Govi, actually. So that's awesome. So um, probably another little little bit more affordable if you wanted to get some color in there. And Corsair yeah, for stuff sure. for lighting. Yep, yep. Their uh, IQ software is great for uh, syncing up that. We've tried out a few of their things as well. Yeah. I mean, one of the things of when I was building my PC that I, I guess, I don't know, threw me off a little bit was how easy it was to get everything synced up together. I'd always just kind of imagined it would be a pain and like, you know, companies would not want you to have everything like synced between multiple brands. But I've been, I guess, pleasantly surprised by how integrated everything can be just like out of the box. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, fun to see. Um, all right. So moving on, uh, another thing I wanted to highlight, uh, we had some new monitor deals, uh, come out and I think even Patrick might be working on another post right now, maybe about some new monitors. Um, but here I think is the most recent one, uh, that we can check out. So, uh, next gen ready 4k over 120 hertz we're getting 144 hertz here uh this is a 28 inch for 535 dollars um that's a pretty 
awesome deal. Like we checked out the Philips Momentum 32 inch, which is 4K, I think also 144 hertz. And that's like closer to $900 yeah. um, to get a similar similar performance out of there. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like the HDMI 2.1 port on it like immediately makes the $535 price tag worth it just because yeah. of how, like, I don't know. I feel like there aren't many monitors that necessarily are in the same price range that deliver that feature for I get that like you know that's what makes it the next gen ready that you can mm -hmm. actually use Xbox Series X and PS5 with it yeah. and get those full uh you know actually be able to drive all the pixels and the fast refresh rates but yep absolutely um what was I working on recently oh I think when I was doing the um NZXT capture cards I was playing yeah. again on the momentum and um, just the visual experience playing Forza on that uh, 4K display um, looked really awesome. I guess it's just the perfect yeah. pair for uh, for the next gen consoles. Yeah, and and I guess if you don't necessarily need a next gen ready monitor, there are a few more affordable ones that we've also highlighted that are also 144 hertz monitors, but aren't going to be quite as like ideal for the next gen consoles because they lack the hdmi 2.1 ports but if you do plan on just playing with pc pretty I, the samsung ones are i don't seem like always a standout for me and right. for 300 i yeah there's the 300 300 dollar one that's 32 inches the g5 monitor right there it's yeah. pretty seems like I, yeah, it seems like a very good value that's one of the ones that i've i don't before we started i was talking to jordan about how i was for a moment debating whether or not I wanted to redo my desk setup to be a little more gaming focused. And the the Odyssey monitors from Samsung have been at the top of my list if like if I was going to do that. Absolutely. I mean I don't for PC gaming, I don't game yeah. at 4K. Um rarely I think I've game at 1440 even <laughs> a little bit now. But um uh, that's that's plenty of res resolution and yeah. great re great uh refresh right there. Um and 300 bucks, yeah, is a pretty pretty darn good deal for that. Yeah, I mean, especially if, like, you are now just building out a... I, you know, I, don't, I feel like a broken record after talking about it yesterday, but now seems like the best chance you can actually build out a gaming PC without, you know, spending a fortune and... Getting being able to get the, being able to get the uh, peripherals are, like, is a very important part of that equation alongside the actual gaming PC and, like, seeing these deep discounts makes it a little easier to, you know, build out your battle station. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sharkbait says for seven ninety six you can get the LG C1 48-inch. Um, I, I know that a lot of people do mm. use the OLED TVs in order to, like, build their gaming setups, but I think that the markets are a little bit different of, um, you know, a 48-inch 48 48 display is a lot I mean, you know a lot for a, a pc setup but yeah absolutely that'd be a little much for I did, me i guess it, yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it is yeah it's a little much for me too and like you're talking to someone who uses a 35 inch ultra wide to game so like <laughs> um but i guess like on the topic of tvs the I will say that if you are in the market for a home theater display upgrade rather than necessarily one for the battle station, there are plenty of different TVs on sale right now that cover, you know, cover ever pre like pretty much every price point, every brand, whether you need something for the like the guest room or like a flagship truly home theater worthy display, pretty much I guess have every inch covered. Yep. Absolutely. Uh as you can see in this post, um, there are tons of different sizes, tons of different price points. You know, whatever you're looking for, um, you can find something on here. Even up to the 85-inch yeah. Neo QLED Mini LED, uh, which would just be insane. But it'd be great. And you can save some decent yeah. money on it. <laughs> yeah, I know that the the, Fram, the Samsung Fram TVs are a particular highlight amongst everything. Um, we've had a couple of people internally already pick them up, I believe, with the discounts. And they are I don't, they're definitely the most unique TVs, I would say, that are on sale. Like, I don't, well, that exist, period, but also that are on sale right now that they kind of blend a little bit more into your space than a typical black plastic bezel TV that you'll find. You know, they have a nice like wooden accent. 
you know, slim design that hangs right on your wall. Absolutely. Yeah, they're very yeah. neat. Yeah. Um, yeah. My wife and I often say like, if we were to put a TV in our living room, we don't have one in there right now. This would be yeah. just about the only thing that we'd really want to put in there. Um, because when you're not using it, it can just kind of look like uh, a piece of art. <laughs> yeah. I always am so, I don't know, the idea of having like smart, um, like a smart, like I guess framed painting is always very appealing to me, but I've never, I don't know, like I guess the closest thing I have is the Apple TV screensavers that are always so photogenic and like look amazing, but having, I don't know, having something actually mounted to the wall seems like it'd be a little, you know, a little too cool for me. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Well, let's see what else we have here. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about, we talked about projectors a little bit yesterday. I think mainly like some of the X Jimmy stuff and ultra short throws, but Anchor Nebula um, also has some good stuff um, on sale as well right now. And we've reviewed quite a few of these um, on the channel. You can see, um, let's see here. Nebula projector. Um, so we've checked out like the uh, capsule two, I think was one of the earlier videos that I did the, the Apollo portable, um, the Astro, the really tiny one. Um, so if you want a little more information, you can check out those reviews on our YouTube channel uh, or on nine to five toys.com, but they're just a fun thing to have around the house for lots of different, lots of different uses. Yeah. I know I checked out the, uh, they released an R2 D2 one last year for May the 4th. Yeah. 2021 May the 4th. And I still have that around. It's such a, like such a fun little thing to just have around for putting, you know, putting up a display whenever you need one. If like you want to watch a movie somewhere or like, I don't know, I, I shot it up on the ceiling and it was always pretty cool to just be able to have a hundred inch display. Yeah. Pretty much anywhere. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, with our kids we'll sometimes like set up a tent and then just you know throw up a movie like in the tent yeah um, which is kind of fun very cool yeah um, yeah i actually don't think they sell the r2 one anymore unfortunately oh really yeah it was, was, yeah, it was like limited here. edition some other interesting ones. But it would yeah it would it would i would i would recommend it if you know if i could but the i guess the standard one you know works the same same features but isn't quite as fun looking if you <laughs> <Right>. will <laughs> <laughs> absolutely how are you liking the nova pro wireless coming for 250 when amazon had a price in here at launch that's pretty awesome that's a huge deal uh i like them i like the sound i really like the anc um I am working on a review for them. So I'm just kind of using them through a lot of different scenarios. I'm not hundred percent sure that I'm sold on the comfort of them. I feel like it's kind of, um, uh, pressing into my head a little bit. There's like that ANC bump that's kind of in the ear cup that like feels like it makes quite a bit of contact with my ears, which I'm not a huge fan of. So still, uh, still testing them out and trying them out. Uh, I, I enjoy the sound for gaming. I think the ANC is really good. Um, I like the. I was talking about this a little bit last night on stream, but I like the hot swap battery where you can just pop out a battery and Ooh. pop a new one in. It's, in. it's like in the hub. There's another little like charger for the battery. That's very cool. Um, third party cushions. Oh, wicked cushions. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interested in. I'd be interested in trying that. Um, I'm not completely sold. Just right out of the box with the comfort. Yeah, I mean, they look very cool as far as um, I'm excited for your review once it goes live, just because I don't know, high end gaming headsets are always so interesting to me because like I don't, even if even if I'm not necessarily in the target market for it right yeah. now, like being able to geek out over some hi fi cans are always like always <laughs> fun in my book. Well, and these there's so much to talk about with these, yeah. like there are so many features built into it. Um, from everything from like the yeah, the control hub where you can like control settings from that to uh steel series software we can make you know different adjustments to eq and everything in there to making adjustments on the headset itself like there's there's a lot to cover and um i've done like i reviewed quite a few headsets in the arctis lineup and the xbox ones like the um uh what's it arctis 7x i loved that 9x yeah. i loved that um, and I thought those were some of the most comfortable gaming headsets that I've used. 
Um, so I was a little surprised that uh, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a different experience with with this headset. Yeah, I believe I have a pair of whatever the first ones they released that were like designed for the PS5. I believe I, I have those somewhere around mm-hmm. here that I use for when I'm pl- like playing at the t- you know playing at the TV and don't want to annoy everyone, which have been very nice. But yeah, I don't <laughs> think the, the comfort was like a little off in terms of the like the ear cushions compared to I don't, I don't know comparing them to AirPods Max isn't the best like isn't the fairest fight, but like yeah. even compared to like the some other gaming headsets I've used weren't I just felt like they were slightly off the mark, but. Yeah, uh, working on a uh, review for that coming up here, hopefully in the next little bit. Um, let's see, were there any other projectors we wanted to kind of feature? I think we're maybe good with those. Um, <laughs> keep getting spam comments. <laughs> oh, wow. Got some of those yesterday, too. Um. Okay, so we can move on to, uh, and oh, the next thing I want to talk about uh, is the microphone that I'm using, the Solo Cast from HyperX. Oh, um, I freaking love this thing, and I don't know that it's, I don't know if it's necessarily part of Prime Day, but it is on sale right now for thirty five bucks, um, and it's just, I think for that price, it's just about as good as you can get. I mean. Recording this with this live stream, uh, I'm using NVIDIA broadcast to take out background noise, like I'm taking out my AC noise, yeah. but otherwise this is just straight from the microphone. Um, and it's what I use for a lot of my YouTube videos. Basically, I mean, just because I like the sound of it so much, I like how small it is. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room on my videos. Um, super solid microphone. Yeah, I mean, I keep my mic, so having, so having something a little further away seems like it'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. And I've made a couple other videos about it. <laughs> like it's, it sounds great, but it does have some limitations when it comes to like, uh, the stand and like vibrations kind of, uh, coming through the microphone, but there's some quick and easy ways to make it sound better. Um, which is something that I did with this video. We can add a boom arm to it, which I think you should pretty much have a boom arm on any microphone. If you're doing like content creation or streaming or anything um you can also find like a universal shock mount as well to kind of help with that oh i think we lost a good ad for the for the solo cast because i just bumped my mic and it cut out (laughs) i was wondering the audio changed a little bit i was wondering what was going on yeah i was like (laughs) what's going on that's hilarious yeah um high-end mics aren't necessarily always the best (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, so uh if you're looking for something definitely like 35 bucks that's just a crazy good deal uh in my opinion for that microphone. Uh okay. We already talked about uh I think that's all that I had on my list of things that I had called out so far. Um are any other things that you've seen popping up Rika that you've been Yeah. Um trying to think of what the real highlights for day two have been like we've already talked about like the oculus and macbook and some of those things which i Mm -hmm. think are the real like stars of the show today um there's really not too much for the second round of prime day deals versus like what we talked about yesterday it seems like most things have been live for a little while now and we're just kind of combing through the rest to see what else is out there but um i guess there is one actually of uh, let's. I, I'm not sure if it's still live currently, and I need to double check on that. Okay, it is. Um, earlier this <laughs> spring, Logitech launched the MX Mechanical wireless keyboard, oh. and they are finally on sale. Like for one of the first times, we've seen a lo- couple like couple launch discounts here and there over the past you know, month or two. Um, but it's my uh, one of my favorite keyboards. It's I think it's the it's the MX Mechanical. Um, I've got the mini. The mini one right here, but it's the the full size one is currently sitting at um one forty or one fifty from its one seventy price tag. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. I think that might have I'm, been yeah. one that we highlighted a little bit last night. Um, oh, fun! Because there was yeah. a post right on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a post. Yeah, you guys uh, posted that. I remember seeing that. 
Yeah. But that, yeah, I know that uh, I think like yesterday we talked a lot about gaming mice and now that this is necessarily a gaming keyboard, but if you're in, I don't know, this is definitely if like you're in the market for something that's a little more, a little step up from the usual productivity things that Logitech has. Like I game on it occasionally when I don't feel like busting out a larger keyboard. So yeah, definitely worth, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth the price in my opinion. Totally. That's awesome. Yeah, and we've seen, um, I don't know if any more have come on sale, but we've seen quite a few uh, gaming mice. Like, now's a great time. Yeah. Um, Justin's popping in here. August and Ecobee yeah. HomeKit gear now live. Okay. Google Nest Cam prices are also solid right now. Awesome. So some more some more deals on there. We talked about August a little bit yesterday. Um, uh, when does Prime? So we got, we got a question of when does Prime Day end? Mm -hmm. So things officially end tonight at three. I guess it is midnight PST, but three AM tomorrow morning for those on the East Coast. And some of the deals are like most deals are likely to end right when you know Prime Day officially closes the door, but. There's probably going to be a large, like, you know, most companies who are on the larger side of things, you know, like the Sonys, the LGs, the Ecobees might be running some of their deals through the end of the week. And so um, I would say lock in your discount before the end of the day, but yeah. there will likely be some deals that just kind of hang around for a little bit afterwards. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, here's some of the uh, August stuff if you want to check that out my wallet hurts when it comes to keyboards I spent 550 on a custom mechanical board wow yeah <laughs> yeah i i feel that i have a custom mechanical keyboard on the way so oh nice can you give yeah, us some a, info about it yeah it's um it has speed switches so they're a little little shorter travel but it is shaped like ditto the pokemon <laughs> what <laughs> yeah um i someone makes custom like he he cuts the cuts the like acrylic she uh frame for it and like does all the work and oh and, I'm, and i'm getting a little macro pad that is also ditto themed so oh my gosh yeah pretty excited that's hilarious uh yeah you have to do a post about that when it comes oh I'm, no i'm, I'm definitely to going it. to okay. <laughs> yeah um Chromebooks, sorry, we have, we have uh, Ben's in the chat saying, how are Chromebooks looking? Chromebooks have actually kind of been like few and far between this year. There have been some that have popped up occasionally, but I mean, like, I don't think last year we had, I don't know, there were like 15 good Chromebook deals. And I feel like this year there's just some like all right ones. I believe, I believe Asus, uh, what comes to mind is that there's Asus has a, I think it's the CM3 detachable that's on sale. Um, or 300 bucks. But th I, this one went live, I believe, last weekend. So before Prime Day officially went live, um, it's like the CM3 detachable Chromebook is the, is its name but yeah like there's there have been chromebook deal like I, don't know, I see on there there's the in i think the cx1 that pretty good deal we just haven't really they've been all part of larger sales and so we haven't really um i guess picked out many of them but they are around maybe we'll i think we might end up having to do a post to highlight some of them that yeah. have been buried so far yeah absolutely um and we do have some other uh laptop deals and roundups over on nine to five toys as well if you're looking for for something else yeah i think maybe this is the one i was thinking of that patrick mm -hmm. posted recently kind of some of the latest deals going on right there obviously it's a little bit more potent than a, a chromebook but yeah that's some good stuff there um, um but uh yeah i guess on the topic of the 50 inch 4k fire tv it was a hundred dollar lightning deal earlier today Whoa. Pretty sure it sold out like I don't want to say instantly, but it was like it was not live for very long. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. hundred bucks gets you a lot, I guess, <laughs> these days. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. If you're waiting around and if, if you see it. Yeah. 
Is the Razer Black Widow V3 good or should I get the Black Widow V3 Pro or what's a good deal on Prime Day for a full-size mechanical keyboard? Uh, one that I kind of oh. saw and talked about last night. Um, I guess if you're looking for like kind of in the gaming vein, um, the Steel, or not Steel Series, the HyperX Alloy Origins. Uh, I think the full size is on sale right now. And I'm using the Alloy Origin 65 right now and uh, a huge fan of this keyboard. Um, so that would be one that I would check out. It doesn't have a whole lot in the way of, you know, like um, bells and whistles, like not a whole lot of extra controls and like macros and things like that. Um, but it's just a super, super solid keyboard. And I really like these Aqua switches. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of tactile switches. And I think that HyperX kind of does it the best as far as just like out of the box gaming brands. Yeah. So let me drop a link to that. That would be one I would suggest checking out. Uh, that real quick here. Um, but yeah, I know Razer, yeah, has some other stuff on sale right now. Um, yeah. There's a lot of good all stuff. Of the, all of the Logitech gear is on sale too. Um, I think, I know that the G Pro mechanical keyboard is a big hit amongst the pre, I, you know, off the shelf pre built machine or not machines, uh, peripherals, but mm. I'm a big fan of the Super Light Pro mouse that pairs with it. And so I like, I can't speak to hands on use with the G Pro, but. Yeah, and the I know super, that it's always quite prop, quite popular. Yeah, and the super readers. light is on sale right now as well, which is pretty rare. Yeah, um, so definitely worth checking out. It's not. Yeah, I had you a know, friend who just bought it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we see deals on these like occasionally, but they're not very often, and I don't think it usually drops down to like a hundred and five dollars. Right, it's usually higher than that. Yeah, I mean, I think the last deal we like the last deal we saw was maybe like 120 before Prime mm -hmm. Day. This is definitely like this is the the gaming mouse that I use on a regular basis, and like 105 bucks for something that I don't. It doesn't even feel like there's anything in it. Like it literally just feels like you're holding a piece of plastic, which is good if you want a lightweight gaming mouse. Um, if you want something a little like heavier, then it probably isn't going to be the best solution. But yeah. for like yeah, it's almost effortless to actually use over extended periods. Like you barely realize it's there. Yeah. And yeah, and at that price, that's just that's just awesome. Uh, I'm using the Viper counter to it. Oh the, nice. Uh, V2 V2 Pro. Uh, but I don't think they have that on sale right now. I think they still have full price, at least last time I checked. Yeah. It seems like I mean I guess a lot of the like Black Fridays and Prime Day type deals get a lot of flack for being clearing out old devices, and it does seem like this year is fitting into that a little bit, just because of and it seems like all of the gaming gear is like slightly previous generation or like just excludes the latest and greatest. Right. But still great deals. I mean I don't necessarily think most people need the latest high end keyboard and can settle with saving you know like with the super light mouse can save 35%. Yep, absolutely. Totally agree with that. And uh, speaking of that same thing, Razer Viper Ultimate, usually 150 bucks, uh, 79 with the dock. I think it's 69 with uh, without the dock. Yep. Also just a, an incredible, incredible deal there for a great mouse. Oh yeah, the um, we got the power play mat does seem like a very <laughs> cool add-on too, which yep. unfortunately don't believe is on sale. Yeah. Um, but JH asks if the G502 is worth buying. Um, it's on sale right now. Um, and like it's it's a popular mouse. A lot of people love it. Personally, I haven't had much experience with it. Um, but if it's one that you've been eyeing and wanting to try it out or just for backup, <laughs> uh, yeah. now's the time to do it. Uh, I mean, 33 50. bucks, I would say, puts it in that backup category. Like, I, I don't think you'll be too burnt on, like, spending that for a backup mouse, but. Yep. Totally. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, anything um, else we want to 
any other deals we want to yeah highlight? but i guess like one big thing have you bought anything on prime day yet or is there anything you're eyeing up so there are a couple things that like if i found the right deal i would maybe pull the trigger on mm -hmm. um i want a new case for my main pc here my editing pc mm -hmm. um and i saw like um i have an nzxd case um for my other computer i guess my other rig and i really like like the design and look at that so i was looking for something like that but they didn't really have uh the one that i wanted on sale right now so kind of keeping my eye out i want something with really good airflow but also something that looks kind of stylish yeah. as well um uh, the other thing i was hoping to find it's pretty uh niche i guess but i was looking for a racing cockpit for my uh oh fun. Uh, sim racing setup <laughs> yeah but i haven't seen any of those on very sale yet. cool yeah yeah, I mean, I'll keep you posted. I'm I'm probably, I think as of now, I have not made any purchases. And if I do, they will probably be more smart home lights. Oh, yeah. Y yeah. Nice. Or, yeah. Or, I don't know, there's, there's a few anchor chargers that I, uh, they released a, like a larger MagSafe power bank earlier in the year, and it's on sale for the first time. Mm. I've been debating whether or not I want to pick that up, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah the same kind of thing like there's nothing that i've really like felt like i've needed to get so it's just kind of been like waiting mm -hmm. and thinking like oh should i get this or not like if i maybe if i found some good deals on some uh electric uh lawn care equipment <laughs> i'd maybe get that yeah. too i mean there's plenty of those around this yeah. time yeah i saw a lot of uh was it greenworks i think a lot of their stuff yeah greenworks and right works now. um i think sunjo just went live today they do more of the pressure washer type thing but Plenty, yeah, plenty of deals there. Uh, no excuses to be running a gas or oil rig this year for lawn cutting and all that. Like right. it's time to switch to electric. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been I've been thinking yeah. as well. Um, we got a question of what is the best LG 4K monitor? That is a a tough question, I think, because it's <laughs> um, what price tag are you looking for? Because really depends on if you're willing if you're looking to spend you know a couple hundred bucks or you want to double that and go for something a little higher end but gaming monitor um, lg 4k resolution features low latency g-sync so you're looking for you're yeah. looking for everything um price is not a problem wow. well I know that the Ultra Gear, like uh, like you mentioned the Ultra Gear series in the comments, but some of the like larger, uh, the like I know I guess not some of the more expensive ones, uh, definitely seem like they are worth looking at if you want like a 40, 144 hertz refresh rate. Um, there's and I you know I'm the Ultra I'm a big fan of Ultra Wides, and so the first thing that immediately caught my eye is that there's the uh 34 inch uh 1440p game like lg gaming monitor that's on sale right now for prime day um yeah right it's the Is 670 dollar one, one yeah yeah, yeah gc I, I, I mean that, that's what i would get right yeah yeah i'm a fan of ultra wide as well um both for gaming and for productivity um that seems like that seems like a really good fit it's got all the features you're looking for <laughs> i believe yeah. But well, yeah, I guess it's I not, think really not 4K, yeah. but. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one. Um, 4K makes it, I think, a little more like complicated. Of yeah. Just depending. But I, yeah, I, I'd say that there are probably. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to look through here for through the all the deals we've covered and everything to see if anything jumps out. Yeah. Uh, are you uh, married to LG or are you. Uh... Would you be all right with some other brands as well? Yeah, because I think, I mean, I think that's definitely the one, if you're willing to go with like MSI or Asus or Acer, there are plenty of other brands out there. Um, yeah. We got, we got a, got another spam comment. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they just keep coming. Up. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, but there, yeah, I mean, I think other brands are worth looking at if LG is not like an essential for you. If you're not like if you can live with going somewhere else. Yep, I mean, Patrick here says um, that Gigabyte and Acer have pretty good ones. 
on sale for Prime Day right now. Nice. Yeah, and we have uh, Patrick's been putting together all the uh, roundups over on the website for monitors, so lots of good looking there if you want to try to find something. Yeah, and um, I guess you know on the topic of gaming, Justin just mentioned in the chat that there is um, a rare discount on the Backbone One gaming controller for iPhone that just went live as a lightning deal. Um, it probably won't last very long, but. The, this is definitely, I, I know that you've reviewed it, right, Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, so that's something you can check out if you want a little more information about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it seems like, I think, I believe that it is, like, universally praised as being the best way to, like, game on your iPhone with, like, physical buttons and all of that if you want a Switch Lite experience. And being able to score it for 70 bucks is, you know, I think on top of being the best like price yet is one of the better values out there for a like mobile gaming experience. Yeah. I don't, I reviewed it. I don't do a whole lot of mobile gaming, but yeah. if I do, um, this is, this is the way to do it. Like, uh, it just yeah. makes everything a lot more fun. Um, uh, titles are a lot more fun. And even like with call of duty mobile, like mm -hmm. it kind of makes you feel like a God compared to people who are like just on their screen with their fingers uh yeah when i was uh when when genshin impact was like first being a big thing last year I, yeah i guess no that was i guess two years ago they did not support controller like support yet and mm -hmm. i was like every time one of these goes on sale whether it's you know the backbone one or the razor kishi i'm always just like now would be a good time to get back in the in the genshin now that i can actually like fully play it like a you know like a handheld game but yeah totally uh oh let's see here patrick just messaged me oh about the uh, a gigabyte monitor that dropped a little bit uh let's see here let's drop this in here uh i guess you know quick uh quick question of what is a better alternative to the oled switch um there is not one i would say <laughs> unless you can get your hands on a steam deck but that's a pretty big if these days because I believe they're still very backordered. Do you have the OLED switch? I do. I'm nice. a, yeah, I'm a big fan. I have, I've bought every switch so far and I will probably, they just announced a Splatoon three switch for the fall that I am unfortunately looking at because <laughs> I'm a sucker for Splatoon. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, um, but yeah here patrick uh sent us the deal uh 32 inch 4k 144 hertz hdmi 2.1 650 is this the one we we're maybe looking at earlier i don't remember if it was exactly um, but i believe we looked at this one last night potentially or okay. sorry yesterday instead of earlier today but yeah still so remains a yeah a great a great pick uh kind of in that 4k uh high refresh rate setting there if if you want to look for that um what else do we have going on backbone switch new ipad mini is pretty good for gaming <laughs> nice. yeah i, I mean i there. definitely would back that i use i use mine from time to time for gaming but it really I, I wish i wish the backbone one could extend a little bit further and you could like clamp the switch into that like that would be a little too, I don't know, a little too perfect. But um, <laughs> unfortunately, I guess on the iPad mini front, I've been waiting for deals to go live there and they have been completely out of stock just like since Prime Day started. Like they're just, you can't even buy them, period, let alone with a discount. Oh, wow. Which has, yeah, which has seemed to be like one of the themes on Prime Day is that there are a lot of things that you just cannot buy if, even if you wanted to pay full price. Hmm. yeah it's pretty wild all right we're just kind of checking back here on the yeah. uh prime day homepage. see if there's anything else that we want to highlight or talk about anything else that anybody's looking for or considering buying do you have anything sitting in your cart that uh you're trying to figure out if it's a good deal or not yeah i mean 
Like the answer is probably going to be yes if you can't live without it. But like as far as impulse purchases go, like happy to I, I guess see if it's like the best bang for your buck kind of thing on, you know, anything from gaming mice to TVs, computers, monitors. But yeah, time is I guess time is running out, unfortunately, for right. Prime Day. And so <laughs> that is the, I, the only caution is if there's something in your cart and you're mauling it over, there's not much time left. Uh, deals are going to start expiring in the next, uh, you know, next 12 hours or so, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, some of the lightning deals like the Backbone one won't be around much longer than another hour or two tops. So, yeah. Yeah. So keep uh keep an eye on nine to five toys as we're uh kind of throwing out a lot of that stuff. Um yeah, sure I mean, we'll be out. yeah, we'll be covering everything up until the last minute, hopefully finding a few last minute deals that are, you know, best of the bunch. But otherwise, and we already have pages and pages of deals that are and that you are worth diving into. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Justin's got the uh uh, the backbone one on here, if that's something you want to check out. Um, Allie's been putting together a lot of uh, kind of on the fashion side of things. There are a lot of great deals. Uh, we haven't really talked very much about those on the stream, yeah. but there's a lot of great stuff there. Um, I know another one of my buddies, he always takes this opportunity to pick up, you know, his favorite Levi pants because like, Oh yeah. He needs like one a year basically. And <laughs> <laughs> this is the yeah, best time just... to grab it on, on sale. Yeah, I mean, I know that there's been some pretty good Nike deals on like uh, there's site wide savings across it pretty much like lots of lots of brands. Ali's been absolutely nailing the coverage all week and it's only gotten better with Prime Day is Amazon is actually, you know, carrying over the savings with like its in-home brands. There's, you know, there's the Columbia sale there, but plenty of, you know, plenty of options. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Here's the uh, Sunjo stuff we were talking a little bit about oh, yeah. earlier. Um, yeah. As I as summer is going on and there's a lot of work to do in the yard, I keep finding myself eyeing these things. <laughs> it's like, hmm, yeah. what can I get that would make it a little bit easier? Yeah, I mean, we definitely gotta. I get like, I don't know. I feel like I say every season that you know now's the, like now's the last time that you should be using gas and oil in your setup, but. Unfor I mean, I guess now, you know, gas prices are dropping a little bit, but still like better just pay for, you know, charge it, charge it up, pay for electric instead of having to use actual oil and gas in your mower this year. But yeah, deal and, you know, and the deals make it a little bit even more affordable on top of just being able to save on the, the consumables. Yep, absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to start wrapping it up here in the next few minutes, yeah. uh, unless there's something that um anybody who wants us to search for or discuss or dive into um yeah so we'll we'll hang on for a couple more minutes but gonna start wrapping up here pretty soon yeah i mean i think at this point like most of the prime day deals that we've been anticipating have already gone live and so it's just a you know matter of time for there's a few holdouts that you know like i said with the ipad mini 6 there's a chance it'll come back in stock and it'll be on sale but you know, most of the stuff is live at this point, and you can just kind of peruse 9to5toys.com, check out some of our top picks. Um, Jordan has highlighted in the video description a bunch of his favorite deals that we've talked about today and yesterday. So great places to start if you aren't like quite sure you what you're looking for, but you know you want to get in on the Prime Day savings. Totally. I uh, also wanted to highlight uh, Derek over from... 9 to 5 Mac put a list together of the best Apple device and accessory Ooh, deals yes. for Prime Day 2022. So if you're in the Apple ecosystem, um, this would be, you know, some good information on there and some good products in there if you want to if you want to check something out. Yeah, you know, absolutely. He's got everything from storage to it's like monitors, uh, keyboards uh, to a to a, a desk flexi spot desk, which is what I have. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I, I just, I guess I don't know if I should say it on stream. Um, had one show up that was damaged, and I'm hopefully oh. getting that replaced soon. But it oh, seems more like bummer. a fluke than yeah. a, because I know, because I know that we've reviewed their desks mm -hmm. plenty of times in the past, and have always seemingly walked away impressed. So, yep, yeah, they've yeah, sent me 
Uh, they sent me for some reason they sent me two tops, like two desktops, and one set of le- one set of legs. And so I ended up giving the other desktop to my brother, and then he like bought his own set of legs. And oh, I was like, yeah, fun. this is great. Works perfectly. <laughs> so I've been pretty happy with it so far. But yeah, all right. Well, I think we're uh, I think we'll call it there. Yeah. Um, thanks very much for watching along for the past you know past fifty minutes. Uh, we really appreciate the support. And thanks for chatting along, giving us suggestions to look into, and just all of your help for making Prime Day a you know a little more eventful for us. Yeah. Thanks very much for joining, and uh, yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day, and we'll talk to you later. Yep. Peace Bye. out, everyone. Enjoy.